Welcome back to Joe Tech TV, guys. And typically speaking, we like to show you the cars and what they do. Today, we want to change it up a little bit. I'm here with Bob Wang in his custom garage at Garages of Texas, and we want to see not only what do the cars do, but today, we'll see where the cars stay. Bob, thank you so much for having me out, man. No problem. So we are here at Garages of Texas. How long have you had your particular spot here? Oh man, maybe just about two to three years. It took about a year to get in, but not that long. So do these things come outfitted? The no. way that I see it here, you have to do some customization yourself. Yeah, that's actually one of the best things about getting the garage is it totally comes empty as a shell. So you can personalize it to how you want or how you want the garage to be. And it just kind of turned out this way when we built it. Well, I think you've done a really good job on it so far. I like Thanks. the lighting uh, touches all the way around and the cabinets that you picked. I see you've got maybe a chair over here where you can kind of unload <laughs> some of your thoughts. Yeah, that ended up to be an office chair. I was running out of space and uh, it was time to move it over here. So after wrenching on the car, it's kind of nice just to, just to crash in that one. So I see a few cars in here that I definitely got some questions. Uh, I know whenever I was helping Kenny put the website together, I came across some photos of what you refer to as Big Wang Theory. <laughs> yeah. uh, up on the lift today though, What's, yeah. uh, what, what do we have going on here? Uh, this is my Eleanor. Eleanor's Memphis's unicorn. What's a unicorn? It's my favorite first track car that I really started tracking it. And uh, we kind of did something crazy. It was a mixed use where I could take it one day and uh, really run with some quick cars at the drag and then also flip it and take it to the track and turn left and right. And that's what this car is. It was kind of designed to run high horsepower, four figures in both configurations. and. Uh, we're kind of fine tuning it to run even more horsepower uh, on the track configuration. I love it. And I see the motor is taken out behind you right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, kind of like working on the car and like wrenching and that's kind of what this is. Uh, we kind of played with the little turbo a little bit when I had my original ETS kit. It was a great turbo, made about 1600 horsepower, but it was a little laggy and they came out with the G series, which spools up just a little bit. So we wanted to give that a try ets was really great to kind of keep the manifold the same so we just swapped the turbos out and we got uh, our new setup well i'm excited to see that thing go back in maybe you'll take me for a ride once it's done deal deal heck yeah brother now one of the things i noticed whenever i was putting the uh, album the photo album together uh was it says a 2009 but it doesn't look like a 2009 man it is she's an oldie i had it uh when the car first came out so this is a cba one of the original GTRs, so. I think at this point, there's really nothing that gives it away as a first gen. I guess not, maybe just the interior, but even that's kind of changing, but. Yeah, I think you upgraded with the 17 yep. uh, infotainment system yep, and everything, yep, yep. so you really can't tell at this point. <laughs> yeah, but it's, she's old, she's an old girl, but it's it's been one of my favorite cars. Awesome, what about the 720S <laughs> I see just underneath well, Big Wang Theory here? I actually here. sold the 720, this is the 765, I was so Oh, 765, old. I didn't mean to downgrade you there, no, Bob. No, it's all good. <laughs> I was uh, so happy with the 720 and it was such a great track car and I really like taking a track that, I know it sounds funny, but it just kind of felt soft to me. I just needed something a little hardcore. Um, you know, if I take a date out, she's really gotta be able to handle this kind of car. So <laughs> do you wanna open up the door? You wanna take a look? Hell yes, I wanna okay. see the inside of this thing. Um, so uh, one of the nice things about this one was on the 720, I was able to configure this one um, exactly how I wanted and the seats um, I couldn't get anything quite like a race bucket but I was able to get the center seats which you can see you're just really uh, locked in and then I can have a harness harness bar so I can take a full six point and strap myself in with the Hans. I think the power to weight on these things is ridiculous they're kind of low 2000s as far as weight and yeah. of course as the name would suggest they're putting out 765. Jinx buy me a coat. So this is called Briggs Automotive Company, or uh, BAC, and uh, they make this car called the Mono. And it's called a Mono because it just has uh, one seat. There's only maybe 30 in the United States. This one, I'm probably gonna put up for sale. I just ordered the oh. new uh, limited edition Mono R. It's got a new body style. It actually weighs less than this. I mean, it goes faster, which is kind of scary, but um, I just was in England to get fitted for the seat. You get molded for the seat, but uh, like you can see, it's a single seater and it's street legal. You can see my plate back there. So I drive it to the track and drive it back. And it's been uh, just super, super fun. Run to Home Depot and make errands. So it's been a great daily too. Probably not picking up a lot of plywood though. <laughs> no, but it's fun. <laughs> it's a good car. 
So you guys are already selling it. Comment below your bid. <laughs> Highest bid takes it, and I'm only I'm only gonna grab a 10% commission from you. This car is actually semi-famous. Uh, when BAC asked about the car, the livery is really unique, and they asked if they could use it in the video game Project Car 3. So if you load up Project Car 3, um, and you pick this one, this is one of the liveries uh, that you can get. So it's oh, a semi-famous car, yeah. That's nuts, that's and this crazy. and this library is unique to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, so by by extension, it's Bob Wayne. You're in a video that's game. That's why I was like, maybe I shouldn't sell it or whatever. But oh, you uh, can't. Sell, or or maybe do the same a similar library to get pay respects to it. Oh uh, well, my new one is even a little more crazy. So that one. Oh, that's right. Didn't you send me some pictures with it in blue carbon? Yes. What's really crazy is um, the keys are your steering wheel. So you literally get in and like a F1 car, you quick release and put it in, and you're off and going. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of space in there. You think a big guy like me can fit? Uh, we could try. I bet you you can fit, but it's going to be a good picture. Want to give <laughs> it a right. shot? Yeah, let's give it a All go. Right, done. <laughs> and then you just kind of drop in. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you are tight. <laughs> That guy in a little coat. Yeah, your don't quite fit. So your shoulders should fit under there. Um, I think we're gonna have to get this custom fitted. Well, we could just get a, a, a sawzall right here. Done. And right here, good to go. Done. <laughs> you got an upstairs in this thing too, right? I do. Well, what's also nice is on some rain days, um, when I can't get to the track and I wanna keep my skills up. I have my uh, motion rig. So it has VR where I can play the sim and the uh, uh, whole rig moves and spins to simulate uh, the G-forces. And it's just kind of a nice way to unwind. Also can kind of watch some uh, sports games, chill on the couch, and this converts to a bed. So I can just crash at the, uh, at the man cave and uh, get up and get going for the track. And if you need a little uh, scotch, I got some to I'll warm you up. That sounds like an invitation on this cold, dreary day. Done. Well, Bob, thanks so much for having me out to your garage. No I problem. definitely appreciate you having the time to invite us out so we could show the viewers where do these badass cars live <laughs> when they're not out getting photographed or on the track. Cool. And whenever that GTR gets done, we're going to see you on the track? Definitely. Hell yeah, we'll make it happen. Done.